Sliders TV brings you the fifth annual Scar Shootout live from Daytona International Speedway. The motors are fired up, the covers are off. It's time to go racing in 2011. I'm Cody Harder. And I'm James Tucker. Two test races were held in this completely repaved 2.5 mile super speedway. Charter, with that controversial block, won the second one, and Shy Guy won the first one for the Turbocharged Series champion. The qualifying is about to go underway. That will set the pole position for the Daytona 500 and the grid for the shootout. We have 13 cars entered, so it should be a quite an interesting race. Let's get going with qualifying. This coverage is brought to you by 3dflags.com, by Jolly Good Games, and by turbosliders.com. So the cars are sitting on the grid, ready for qualifying. They're set in reverse practice speed order. So those that went fastest in practice will go last in qualifying. There goes Sims in the number 24. Raptor drove that last year. Sims making his first ever start in a SCART sanctioned race. Let's see what he can do in qualifying. Second slowest on the practice boards. You'll see he will run the high line probably on his first lap to try and gain the most speed for his second lap, which he might really try and nail it. There he is running all the way up the racetrack. Actually, he's going to the middle in three and four there, and he's... Goes low, white flag. He's still staying up high, so he's not really trying to nail it to the apron. He's really going for a high momentum. Off of four, down trial, checkered flag. Waiting for the computer. In fact, we'll see once three drivers have completed their laps. Pulls along the pit road. Next up, we have the number 29 Budweiser Chevrolet of Charter. It's weaving down the back stretch, perhaps trying to gain a bit of speed. Warming up those tires a bit. Yeah. Green flag. He's never started the Scott shootout before. Goes for a little bit of a more midline. Looks like he's just going for speed straight off the bat. Yeah, he's probably trying to play it safe, not getting the wall. Doesn't want to doesn't want to qualify at the front, but he doesn't want to qualify at the back either. Well we'll see how it works for him. Here he comes. Still a little weavy off of two down to three gets right on that apron and down checkered flag he cut below the apron there to the line and that's perfectly legal in qualifying in the race though can't pass below that brings it down slowly to pit lane and we'll have our third contender go remember the qualifying session here will set the pole position for the Daytona 500 and the Scott shootout and it will set the grid for the shootout, and the shootout will then set the grid for the 500. He goes burn in the 11. Green flag. Same thing as Charter did, just going for speed straight off the bat, not really looking for that momentum build on lap 1. Yeah, he, he ran really close to the apron in 1 and 2. White flag. And now he goes high, and then he cuts down low, so that's an interesting line. You can tell he went for that safe lap on lap one, now he's really going for it here on lap two. Yeah, exactly, he wanted to get a banker in there, you know, he wanted to make sure he got it. So what will that do for Burn? Let's see what the time is. So Burn on provisional pole. Burn, provisional pole, Sim second and Charter third. 14.541, that's... Not brilliant for Charter, not what he wanted. Rainey up next in qualifying, number 99, Aflac Ford Fusion, green flag. He ran third at Homestead last year, so he'll bring a bit of momentum. 
last year. Going for that mid line, safe lap, lap one seems to be the norm here, white flag. Here he goes, and he still runs in the middle. Lap one for Rainey of 14.69, puts him fourth quickest out of four. Better improve on his second lap, here he goes to the flag. Big improvement, 14.38, but still not fast enough, a hundredth off of Burns pole lap of 14.37. Yeah, that was an impressive time for Burn. That might take a while to get knocked off the top. Delix next out in his num number five Go Daddy Chevrolet. Let's see what he can do. He's running the top line there, really trying to build up momentum on his first lap. That's probably the best thing to do here because the only problem would be if you crash on your second lap, then you're pretty much not going to do well. 14.65 on lap one. That was better than Branny's original lap. Right on that yellow line to end the lap, and let's see what the time is. 14.41 puts him third quickest out of five. That's not too bad, but let's remind everybody why qualifying is important in Scots, because obviously the positions do change quite quickly at these restricted plate races, but pit stall selection is a very important thing for pit road number one pistols very fast and also in cup races because obviously the Scott shootout is a non-points race in cup races you'll get point one bonus point for leading the first 20 laps so you want to start up front and up next number 42 target Chevrolet Popovich is up next he's right against that wall on lap one yeah he's rim riding Ooh, he is close to that wall oh he he nearly brushed it there. Yeah, six quickest out of six, lap one, fourteen sixty-five. Let's see what he can do in lap two. That's one thousandth off right off uh, Deluxe's first lap time. Will he improve on Deluxe's second lap time? Checkered flag. Fourth quick. Fourteen forty-four. So Popo lies fourth out of six cars. Seems to me about mid pack will probably be in that 14 4 range. Yeah, what do you reckon we're looking at for the pole time here? Oof, that's a good lap by Burn at that 14 37. In practice, they were running 14 1s, but we have to remember they had a bit of time to warm their tyres up, you know, get up to speed. Yeah, it's a bit easier to run that quick lap when you have about 20 laps to do it than just these two laps. You gotta lay it all on the line and two fast laps. Let's see what FSV can do in his number 16 Very m Ford Fusion. And he gets in the wall. He's in the wall hard and that'll be disappointing for him. So lap one will be the time for FSV. Looks like he's gonna still run that second lap. Not really much point in that. Bringing it down to the checkers. Because now we'll just have to do a whole nother in lap. Slow down the process but that's fine. So FSV 7th quick out of 14, 62 out of 7 cars. We'll surely start from the back unless anybody else crashes. Yep. Now next up, Dell driving the 17. He's not going to be driving in the cup this year. But he's driving Lex's 17 in place of him. Lex won the Scott shootout last year. He'll be driving the Rising Star series, but not the cup. See what oh gets on his warm up lap. That's definitely gonna hurt this lap one speed. Now it depends whether he uses the high line to gain momentum for lap two because he might still be able to recover from that. But we'll see. Oh, uh, he may recover, but it definitely won't be a pole run on lap one. Runs very close to the wall going into turn one. And he stays up the track and runs it all the way down the hill off turn four. Can he improve from a 14.9 on lap one? He's outside the top three. Dell will sit sixth out of 14.53. So sixth out of eight cars. Beats Charter by one hundredth of a second. That's close. That is very close. It's the tires on his in lap there. Eh? 
Lear on there and the 20 car hit the wall on the start of his and he hits it again on his first lap. It's again, oof. No, Leron making his first start in this 20 car. He's never run a Rising Star Series race, he's going straight to Cup. First oval, really, so let's see what he can do. Yeah, he's not, he's a midfield runner in F1 races. 17.02 on lap 1, let's see what lap 2 does. It's nearly 3 seconds off the pace, but he did hit the wall twice. Whoa, 1441 bumps him up to third quickest. Now that is a pickup on lap two. That is, yes. That was all from running the high line. Here goes Shy Guy 1001. He won the Turbo Shard Series race at Daytona and he won the Rising Star race last year. He had fuel problems in the Cup race last year. Gets the wall coming to start his first lap. Let's see what he can do. Practice second quickest, but Lance has been a dominant force throughout the speed weeks so far. So far in, in preseason testing, Shy Guy one of the favorites. Let's see, lap one, 14, 97, puts him 10th out of 10 cars. So he needs to improve here on his second lap. He gets really close to that apron, might have got him loose a bit. Let's see. 1426 puts him on provisional pole. But here comes the man who we're all shooting for as the pole favorite lands in the 46. He actually finished ahead of Shy Guy last year in the All American 500, the cup race here. But that was because Shy Guy ran out of fuel. But Lands has improved his speed a lot after winning a controversial victory at Homestead. He's getting on it straight away, he's going for the pole lap on his first one, he's running really close to the yellow line. And it's the pole position! Pole lands. So lands will start on pole for the 2011 Daytona 500 and the Scar Shootout. Join us after the break.